Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today on a request of journal knowledge, I found an interesting thing that I would like to share with you. The lungs of the earth. Some of, my, uh, some of you might be amazed. Some of you might be thinking, what? Hold on and wait by the end of this video. I will disclose some things that nobody told you. You, your beliefs, your studies about plants making oxygen for us will be shattered and you will be messed up for the rest of your life. Talking about plants, I have to first tell you about the biggest collection of trees in the world, the Amazon forest. Alternatively, the Amazon jungle, also known in English as Amazonia is the moist broadleaf tropical rainforest in the Amazon biome that covers most of the Amazon basin of South Africa. The basin encompasses 7 million kilometers square of which 5 million, more than 5 million uh, meters square are covered by rainforest. This region includes territory belonging to nine nations. The majority of forest is covered within Brazil with 60% of the rainforest followed by Peru with 13%, Colombia with 10% and with major amounts, minor amounts in Venezuela, Equator, Bolivia, Guyana, Suriname and French Guyana. Four nations have Amazonias as the name of one of their first level administrator region and France used, uses the name Guayawa Amazonia Park for its rainforest protected area. The Amazon represents over half of the planet's remaining rainforest and encompasses the largest and most biodiverse track of tropical rainforest in the world with the estimated 390 billion individual trees divided into 16,000 species. The Amazon forest is not a big source of oxygen since the trees consume almost all of, the, uh, all of it through photosynthesis. The process used by plants to convert light energy into chemical energy that can later be released to fuel the organic activities. The net Amazon of the net effect of the Amazon rainforest on the amount of oxygen in the global atmosphere is virtually zero. Since the new plant since the new plant matter is almost balanced by microbes that decompose the dead plant material. By using the energy of sunlight, plants can convert carbon dioxide and water into carbohydrates and oxygen in the process called photosynthesis. As photosynthesis requires sunlight, this process only happens during the day. When we often like to think that this as plant breathing in carbon dioxide and giving us oxygen. However, the process is not exactly this simple. Just like animals, plants need to break down carbohydrates into energy. Oxygen is required to do this. Then why do plants get rid of all the oxygens when producing, uh, produced during photosynthesis? The answer is not, they do not. Plants actually hold on to small amount of oxygen they produce in photosynthesis and use the oxygen to break down carbohydrates to give them energy. But what happens at night when there is no sunlight? which is needed in photosynthesis. Interestingly, in order to maintain their met metabolism and continue respiration at night, plants must absorb oxygen from the air and give off carbon dioxide. Furthermore, for all of us oxygen breathers, plants produce approximately 10 times more oxygen during the day than do consume at night. Now, taken that you know the plants take back some of the oxygen they produce and some of it is used for decomposition, where does our oxygen we breathe come from? Well, here is the surprising part that no one ever told you about. Take a breath. And take another one. One of these breath came from trees, but the source of the other breath might surprise you. Around 50 to 80% of the oxygen we breathe come from photoplankton. Planktons are tiny plants that live on the surface of the ocean and lakes. Each one is invisible to the naked eye, but when they gather together in great numbers, they can turn a body of water red, green or milky white based on which variety is present. They come in different sizes and shapes. For example, some look like a bowl with two tails or they may have an in 
elongated oval shape or even a fork like shape some have spiny structure and other have structure that look like a crown like trees and other plants photoplankton can absorb sunlight and turn it into energy through the process called photosynthesis fortunately for us photosynthesis also creates oxygen as a waste product which the photoplankton and plants expel just like how humans and other animals produce carbon dioxide when we exhale although photoplankton are tiny there are a lot of them out there there can be thousands of photoplankton in the single drop of water now imagine an ocean full of them releasing invisible puffs of oxygen all day long of course providing the air we breathe isn't the only important thing photoplankton do they also serve as the base of marine food webs many kind of animals eat photoplankton including whales jellyfish shrimps and small fishes one particular species prochlorococcus is the smallest photo uh, photo is the smallest photosynthetic organic on the earth but this like bacteria produces 20% of the oxygen in our entire biosphere that's a higher percentage than all of the tropical rainforest on land combined calculate the exact percentage of oxygen produced in the ocean is difficult because the amount are constantly changing scientists can use satellite imagery to track photo synthesizing plankton and step estimate the amount of photosynthesis occurring in the ocean but satellite imagery cannot tell the whole story the amount of plankton changes seasonally and in response to changes in the water nutrient load temperature and other factors studies have shown that the amount of oxygen in specific locations vary with time of the day and with tides so there we are now the through this video you have learned the new thing maybe you should also be concentrating in saving these photoplankton in the hopes that they keep doing the good work for the earth so there we have it even though the amazon forest takes the credit for being called the lung of the earth these little cute things are doing all the work i think we should teach our kids about this species of microorganisms if you like this video, you know what to do. If you dislike this video, I don't know why you would dislike it, you still know what to do. This is your host, Mohsen Bukhari, signing off.